Disclaimer. These videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Goldsboro Bridge, located in Wayne County, North Carolina, on December 17th, 1862. Union General Foster finally reached his goal of the Goldsboro Bridge. The purpose of destroying the bridge was to stop the Wilmington and Weldon Railroad. This railroad was responsible for supplying Robert E. Lee's army and the city of Richmond itself. Foster attacked Goldsboro on December 17th. There he found Confederate Brigadier General Thomas L. Klingman and his Confederate troops. The battle started after Foster made a feint with his troops towards another bridge. One of the Union artillery batteries, Riggs Battery from the 3rd New York Artillery, opened fire on the Confederates pushing them back into the woods. The Union Army then formed up and drove their formations into the bridge area. This resulted in heavy artillery bombardment by the Union on the bridge itself in an attempt to keep the Confederates' heads down. This was to prevent the Confederates from burning this bridge down. The Confederates performed well, even so severely outnumbered and fired back with their own artillery, including an artillery piece mounted on a railroad car. The fighting lasted more than two hours as the Union pushed up. Eventually, the Confederates broke and fled back to the north bank of the river, leaving the bridge to Foster and his men. Foster wasted no time and burned the bridge down, and had his cavalry destroy the railroad tracks from Dudley Station to Evertsville in the south. After quickly accomplishing his mission, Foster returned to New Bern, and while he may have been victorious, the Confederates had the bridge back and working in less than a month. The casualties between both sides was 220 men, including killed, wounded, and captured. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.